Whoopi Goldberg and the ladies on The View just interviewed Liz Cheney, a former Republican who's now stumping for Kamala. And (laughs) Whoopi made, she expressed a desire for what would happen in a Kamala administration that I think if you told Democrats that Whoopi Goldberg would be saying this to Liz Cheney, uh, if you if you told them this 20 years ago, their heads would spin off of their heads. Whoopi Goldberg, the ladies on The View said that they want to see Liz Cheney be the director of the CIA. So I, I, have, I have a question. Are you also a lawyer? Yeah, I am. So you could conceivably be a great AG well, if this was... Because, and, and, I, and I say this because your moral core is magnificent. Well, but, and I, I know you probably don't want it, you don't want to think about it, but I just feel like I would feel a lot better mm. with you leading the FBI, the CIA, the NBC, the <laughs> LMNP, everybody, the NBC. That's just, that's just me. So I'm just saying, should it be floated? Please think about it. <laughs> yeah. And uh, under the radar. We have to get Vice President Harris elected to yes. 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 Really, yes. like Well, you know, true. I'm just, I'm, I'm being... <laughs> You're putting it out there in the universe. I'm putting it in yeah. the yeah. universe. Manifest. Because yeah. that's how we do things. You've woken up from a coma. You've been in a coma since, say, 2006. Ask what's been going on in politics, and you say the host of The Apprentice has been the president, and he's running for president again. He was almost murdered by his political opponents. Turns out he was actually a really good president. He's probably the best president of our lifetime. Uh, the The Cheney family is campaigning for the most liberal le- leftist Democrat ever to run for president, and the women of the View are campaigning for the daughter of Dick Cheney to be the head of the CIA. Did I miss anything? <laughs> oh, you want to go back into your comment now? Okay, that's fine. Go to HomeTitleLock.com. Use promo code Knowles, K-N-W-L-E-S. This is a real call out to all American homeowners. You already do so much to protect your home. You might not be aware of a hidden threat, and that is title theft. Homeowners nationwide have over $32 trillion in equity. That's an all-time high. With everything going on in the state of the U.S. economy, Home ownership is more challenging than ever. Title theft, just one thing you really should not have to worry about. That is why you need protection from the crime the FBI calls house stealing, where the equity in American homes is the target. If your title is not being monitored, scammers can transfer it into their name, take out loans, and your equity could be wiped out without you ever knowing. The best way to protect your equity is with triple lock protection from our friends at Home Title Lock. Triple lock is 24-7 monitoring, alerts, and restoration services. The first step is to check on your home's title to make sure that you are not already a victim. You can get a free 30-day trial and a free title history report when you use the promo code Knowles, K-N-W-L-E-S, at HomeTitleLock.com, or use the link in the description below. HomeTitleLock.com, promo code Knowles, K-N-W-L-E-S, for 30 days of protection and a free title report. Methinks the realignment is real. Methinks that the political realignment that we've heard so much about over the past four to eight years is real. Whoopi Goldberg telling Liz Cheney, you have such a strong moral core, a woman who has never seen a country in the Middle East she did not want to bomb, the daughter of the man that Democrats called Darth Vader for at least a decade, more than a decade, really, You have such a strong moral core. Why? She has such a strong moral core because she has betrayed every principle she's ever pretended to hold other than desiring to invade other countries. Other than that, though, she's betrayed every principle she's ever pretended to hold and betrayed the loyalty and trust of her fellow Republicans who have helped her in her political career. And now the ladies of The View want a Cheney to run the CIA. That's a realignment, folks. When the head of the Teamsters doesn't endorse the Democrat, that's a political realignment. When Joe Rogan, who is the most mainstream podcaster, endorses Trump, the man that we were told is the most toxic Republican, maybe you can endorse a Bush or something, but you can't endorse a a, a Trump. That's a realignment. I guess this is why I'm so happy about the, the official Rogan endorsement, is because Rogan is signaling, hey, it's okay to endorse Trump. 
Rogan is the emblem of the political middle. Rogan is the avatar of the average voter, the median voter. And Rogan is saying, I'm with Trump. It's that meme that Elon posted on X that many people have posted recently, which is you got someone standing on the left, the political left, and there's a tug of war between the left and the right. And the person on the left has been uh, pulled over to the right because the, the left has gone so far to the left. And now he, he, di- he didn't really move. It's that the center of gravity moved. And he said, I guess I'm on the right now. I was on the left, but I guess I'm on the right now because of how much the, 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 how, how far to the extremes the left has gone. That's it. Rogan hasn't really changed. Elon Musk hasn't really changed. Bobby Kennedy hasn't really changed. In a way, it's, it's kind of sad that all of these guys are now considered on the right. It's, it can be helpful to us now, and we're going to help hopefully win this election. But it just shows you how much ground the left has taken. And this realignment leads to all sorts of crazy things, like the women of The View endorsing a Cheney for the head of CIA. That was a great clip. Now hold up, ring the bell, subscribe to the Michael Knowles YouTube channel, and we will see you next time.